Hey guys, Chris with CND Duct Tape here, here to show you how to make a duct tape binder. So uh, what you're going to need for this is uh, just a simple binder. Uh, I'm making a Minecraft binder, so just simple. Uh, just, uh, I'm just using a white binder. It's pretty much all we're really going to be doing is placing some duct tape over it, uh, design in the front some extra pockets, and uh, well, calling it a duct tape folder. So, uh, again, what you're going to want to need for this is the binder, some Velcro, let's see here, if I can take this off, <laughs> so Velcro, I have a really long piece, yes, you are going to have to cut it, um, obviously duct tape, uh, an exacto knife, you can see I got some extra blades, so I'm going to install that right now. And uh, you're also going to need a ruler. So, um, actually, the binder you can get pretty much anywhere. Uh, the Velcro you can get at any art store. And uh, the duct tape, well, you obviously know where to get duct tape. So, let me just switch my blade out here. And then we can get started. So, uh, I came back from New York uh, yesterday. And I'm actually going to Cedar Points, I think on Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. So it's going to be pretty fun. But, uh, okay, this is not closing. Um, that's weird. My Xacto knife is not working, as you can see here. I'm trying to twist it everywhere. Ah, oh, there we go. I forgot my. Maybe it's not converted. Oh, yes it is. Alright, so you see you got my new blade in. Uh, this blade here is pretty old, you can see. Uh, the top's cut off. And uh, this one's sharper, obviously, and I should be able to cut through more than one piece of duct tape. Let's put these blades back in. Sorry you have to watch me do this, but trust me, it's going to be better than you expect. Alright, so, first what you're going to do is get your design. So I had a piece of paper, here it is. So we have a piece of paper here, and it shows a diamond pickaxe. So the diamond pickaxe is going to be the design on the front. So, move our binder there. So what we're going to want to do here is uh, take a normal piece of gray duct tape, and strip it out to about how big your uh, printout is. So it looks like I'm going to need about two pieces. So I'm going to need two pieces about two and a half inches. Oh, and also you're going to need some uh, just some see-through packaging tape. I got all that yesterday. Or actually, no, I got it today. Oh yeah, this is a lot better to cut with. Can't even hear it. My other one was white. I swear, my other one wasn't even an exacto knife. It was more like a like a rusty razor blade. Yeah, this thing cuts through like nothing. All right, so you're going to want to take your two pieces of gray duct tape, peel them up, and uh, place it where you're going to be working. So I'm going to be working right here, and we want to cut out our design. So let's do that. Now you don't have to have a perfect cutout, but I like to do it because if it's not perfect, then I kind of freak out about it. Kind of like those, one of those people where if my art isn't good, then I am not going to like it. I'm either going to spaz and throw it out or something like that. But, uh, so just cut this out. Shouldn't take too long. It'll take a few seconds. Okay, so I got a rough cut out of it. Let's see here. So now I'm going to take my exacto knife and see if I can cut through paper. 
Oh my god, I can. I don't think I'm going to be using scissors anymore. Perfect. I swear, my exacto knife was years upon years old. I have no idea how old. I think it was. Um, I'm not sure. I think it was 15 years old. And I've never changed the blade. Well, my mother hasn't, so I've only been using it for four or five years. But the blade's never been changed yet. That's probably why this is cutting so much better. Alright, so we got that cut out. Don't have too much more here. Oh god. Now uh, you are going to need brown, kind of a light blue, dark blue, and black for this. So, again, you know where to get duct tape if you don't. Uh, you can get it actually at Home Depot. Uh, I think you can get it at Lowe's. Any art store like Michael's, Joann's. Um, you can get it at... Actually, I think you can get it at a Target and Meyer too. Walmart should have it. Pretty much any store should have duct tape. It's pretty popular. So, I mean, if you look on YouTube, there's millions and millions and millions of different things you make out of duct tape. Most of them, I kind of just figure out by myself. But I have to look up some of them. But, so we have our pickaxe cut out. So you see here. So what you want to do, you want to take it and take some packaging tape, which is hiding from it. Uh -huh, it is. Um, this is new, so I don't know how to put it in. I'm guessing you go underneath of this. You can take this off, right? No? Really? Um, okay. Uh, so, hmm. Weird. Oh, that's why the roll's in backwards. Huh. Return. A derp. Okay, so how do you take it out? Okay, you know what? We're just gonna cut it. So, this comes off pretty easily. So, take off this doll piece. Okay, so what you want to do is take your packaging tape and cut it about the same as you did your gray tape. Just to, just to cover over the pickaxe, so it'll stay in place while you're cutting it. Damn, I can barely see this. There we go. So, tape this on top. And take another piece. And just go over top of it. So, packaging tape you can, again, just get anywhere. Um. The best place to buy it would probably be Staples. I went to a big Staples today, and it was, I think, $4 for a roll. And then later in the day, I just got it at Michael's, and it was 7 bucks. So you might want to get it at Staples. So you just want to cut out the pickaxe on the gray duct tape. I don't think it'll work for this, because my X-Acto knife, again, I don't know if it cuts through three frickin' layers, but I don't know, I guess we'll see. Now this is gonna take a while because you don't want to screw up. Because after you cut out the gray, then you have to cut out the colors and place it on there. This cut. All right, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I'll get the pickaxe cut out, and uh, then we'll uh, move on to the colors.